Hello everybody, it's Cody from Artblade. I kind of have a strange hybrid video for you today. I've been watching some other YouTubers build some solar charging setups and I thought it's about time I have one of my own. I always thought it might be a good idea to have a backup battery to charge things like my bike, cell phones, tablets, computers, anything really. The solar panel really gives you the freedom to charge just about anywhere there's sunshine. This 200 watt solar panel is plenty if not overkill for what I'm trying to accomplish here. Well, let's take a closer look. The setup I use is kind of spartan and I just wired everything together inside of a milk crate. I've seen a lot of tutorials online where a lot of people do this and this is just an easy way to make sure everything's in one tight package. I use a 500 watt inverter which is more than overkill to run the bike's charger. This is a pretty simple setup but it gets the job done. You pretty much just do what you'd normally do to charge your bike once you're set up like this. You want to make sure you turn the inverter on. That'll give you 110 volts just like the bike charger expects. And then you just plug it in like you normally would and hook it up to the battery. The size of this solar panel is more than enough to make sure this thing charges without running out of juice. Now it'll charge like it normally would if you were to hook it up to mains 110 volt. So I guess we just gotta sit back and relax. So this is pretty much the way I've been charging the bike for a while now. I haven't really run into any problems and you can just kinda set it up and forget about it until it's fully charged. And thanks to the powers of video editing, we can go on a bike ride in the past while we wait for this to charge. And after the bike ride, we'll come back to this place and time to make sure the solar panel was able to fully charge the battery. Okay, let's go. Cue the music.
Well, that was fun. Welcome back to the present time, I guess. Let's see how this thing worked out. It's a super sunny day out here. We're really lucky for this kind of solar charging video. And it looks like it did charge fully. So everything worked out, and I pretty much just left this thing out here all by itself and just went on a bike ride in the past. After you're done, you gotta make sure you turn the inverter off like so. But other than that, it's pretty much the same way you charge the bike normally. There are tons of videos on YouTube and just resources online to make one of these solar chargers, so I won't bore you with the details. But the one I made seems to be pretty reliable, and you can charge way more things than just a bicycle with it. So if you ever lose power, this thing will really step up and get you back to gaming, biking, whatever you need to do.
The 200 watt solar panel and the 20 amp solar charge controller seems to be enough to get this thing to charge up. This lithium iron phosphate battery is almost always fully charged after I charge the bike. Of course you'll have to have a sunny day to take advantage of the 200 watt solar panel, but hopefully you had an opportunity to charge your solar battery and you can get a couple charges out of it. That pretty much covers the solar panel charger setup I have for my Rad Runner. Well, you made it this far in the video, so you might as well subscribe to the channel and like the video while you're at it. You can also go below in the comments and tell me a way that you could have made a better solar charger for this bike. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all around.